matchup because I feel like even if Paul Tina has like really good like Nair and like Forder and stuff like that, I just has like objectively better aerials in terms of just like the fact that they're just way more disjointed. I mean, they're not better in terms of practicality because you can definitely do a lot more with Palutena's Nair, but... Yeah. Um, I mean, if you just... these characters are both very Nair-centric, but Palutena's yeah. is just a little bit more ridiculous, very slightly. Yeah, like, like Palutena's... Okay, I'll, I'll take it back. Palutena's is better objectively, but I mean, like, if you could just use Ike's aerials the way they're supposed to be, which is, like, really disjointed, you can get a lot out of it. So okay, let's, let's well, see if that goes going straight here. in. Yeah, going straight in. Pokemon Stadium 2. Classic. Play Omori. Oh, he's plugging. All right, I whoever, think I've heard that game before. Whoever lands the first Nair wins. Damn it. Yeah, <laughs> there go. yeah all right. That's going to be game one. All right, uh, close it out. Quit out right now. Going to Havri. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, I'd imagine that, like, if both players know what they're doing, uh, this matchup would be very difficult for Ike. But in general, right. I think Ike is a really great character uh, that like stumps people a lot. Oh, oh okay, never mind. Uh, not stumping. <laughs> no, no, no stumps. Yeah, because I'm like that backer completely stumped out that side B. Actually, I wasn't expecting that. Palutena back air is just like <sighs> the priority on that move is insane, and I get that it's like a shield or whatever, but right. still, it's crazy. And da dash attack is no different as far as I know, right? Yeah, because that that uses the same arm. Exactly. Also, the like the scoreboard says uh, Havri Horse. Is that is it supposed to say both? I think that's that... his full tag, but uh, last I checked, I think he's just cool with just Havri. No, I meant like, is the horse still there from Horse two seconds ago? That's what I was wondering. Actually, no, I think his full tag is Havri Horse, if I remember right. Yeah. Really? But he does okay. just go by Havri. That, that is kind of funny. We just did have Horse on here. That's right. Yeah. That's what I was like, yeah, I saw that there. I was like, oh yeah, that is his full tag. I forgot because he's usually just cool with Havri. But, uh, yeah, he's been tried and true Paltane as long as I've, uh, seen him around. Yeah, oh, okay, that was close. Good DI on that. That was good DI. Okay. Ooh, yeah. okay, strong forward tilt's gonna close out the first lock for Harvey there. I think that time was, was, was fishy DI. I'm not sure if you could have lived that at all, but, I mean, it, it, it just looked weird. And that's, yeah, you, you could be right. But I'm like, Paltina actually is kind of light. I feel like some people kind of underestimate how light she is. Because there are some characters that, like, you think would be uh, lighter than Paltina, but are actually heavier. Yeah. Paltina's been kind of a weird character lately for me, because I feel like she disappeared into the background when COVID first happened, and we made mm -hmm. the transition from offline to online. online but then, yeah. when like uh, Smash World Tour, uh, Tour started up, I feel like I saw like five of them, like just in oh, the same yeah. stream. Just started all popping up. Yeah. I mean, so far, Harvey uh, seems to be getting. Ooh! Oh my goodness! Go okay, getting edge guarded pretty hardy by uh, nope. okay, Jet. Back, but wow! Okay, all you need is just one good back throw, just to get it right back in there. Oh, yeah, one okay. good dash touch even game. the entire game. All right, yeah, perfectly even. Despite Harvey landing the first nair, this is still an even game. Oh, okay, but ooh, well, yeah, we got several more to follow up with. Yeah, Harvey now landing the first nair in this one stock game. Yeah, so far so so far so good for him. Seemed like it seemed like he was fumbling a little bit with the edge guarding, but uh, or being edge guarded by Ike. But it seems yeah. like now he's back in stage control. He's back in control of the match. It feels like. Yeah, I feel like just Ike has a lot of combos and conversions that, like, at a certain point, like, what do you do? Because like, yeah, uh, he he's like his range is one of his best features. Like, he's going to get to you no matter what. You just have to figure out what you're gonna do when that happens. When that happens, yeah, because it is. It is pretty, like, inevitable, you're right. We're gonna see Jet roll onto stage. How are we trying to time a uh, forward tilt to close out what could have been the game there, to be honest? Forward tilt surprisingly strong. Yeah. Got him back off stage here. Let's see what his recovery option is. Oh, oh. and a good neutral get up into up B. He's gonna send Harvey to the other side of the stage. Try to catch an up B on a stage with a dash attack. Not quite gonna land, though, as Harvey lands on the platform. We got another get neutral get up option. Seems to be working out for the both of them so far. Yeah, I mean, both of them are at kill percent, even though there's a oh, yeah, large difference. Okay. Yeah, we account for that weight difference we discussed already. Yeah, that's definitely true. Oh, Ooh, and an unfortunate oh, SD, yeah. Whoa. Looked like okay. that direction could have been done as like a panic option, probably. Yeah. Did you see how the explosive frame, like, it just didn't happen because it, like, clanked it got with stuffed the ledge? Out. 
Yeah, that, yeah that's if weird. you don't space it right, it'll get stuffed out. I've never seen that before. It's it's rare, to be honest, because uh, most of the times, though, yeah, it, it, it'll happen, but not very often. All right, where are we going? Town and city. Very Town cool. and city. I feel first, like uh, they should have the like updated the backgrounds of the Animal Crossing stages when the new game came out. It's like it's always weird. Um, if I don't forget, we can talk about that after this game. But let, let's uh, let's go ahead and see what happens with this uh, town and city counter pick here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, if I don't forget, because the there, there actually is something interesting I wanted to share about that, because now that you mentioned it. But uh, looks like they're kind of feeling out each other's neutral here. We got Jet starting up with an up. He didn't quite connect uh, all the way through. Okay. Okay. There's there's the first Ooh. snare of the game. There it is. Oh, that was actually pretty solid. Yeah. Nice you know, most people out. are like DIing uh, away from Nair, but Ooh. I guess not far enough to get out of up smash or forward smash. That was a good air dodge there from Jet. Like that up air definitely would have killed that high up. That was nice. Yeah, it just seems like uh, I guess it makes sense having Palutena and Ike very combo conversion based characters, but right. like it seems like uh, one of them will, will deal like forty percent, and then the other one would deal forty percent, and they just take turns. Oh, that. Yeah, they kind of just. Oh no! Unfortunate second SD. Yeah. Yeah, hey, you hate to see that know, happen. Maybe, that that left side of the ledge is just not doing it for Harvey tonight. I mean, that's like our right, but it's stage left, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. Anything about that? All right, good air dodge on the oh. ledge. Oh, and okay. that four tilt. It's gonna close out that stock. Yeah, and I can I can confirm from the last game because I wasn't sure if that was gonna close out the stock or not, but that um, skunk in yeah, the background. That's kicks, right? Kicks, yeah. The yeah, I like that guy. Shoe shiny. Yeah. Anyways, back to the match. Yeah. So nice we got day. a good oh, air and up air. There you go. Had to delay it a little bit because of the lower percents. Yeah. Or I guess I guess Paul is getting up to the higher percents because remember that she's pretty light. Yeah. So it is good that he's able to time those stalls oh, accordingly. Ooh, we got a second explosive flame active. For Not some reason, land as Jack gets back on the stage. Almost. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's dead. But for Good some air. reason, uh, whenever I see someone get hit with explosive flame, I just immediately assume they're dead. Yeah, no, I, I mean, there's a lot of times where like it just leads right into the second one. Yeah. So you kind of just see it play out in your head. Oh, dead. Good, Aether, yeah, that was nice. And we got ourselves a tie game again. Okay. Let's see yeah. what Aubrey can do with this, see if he can keep up the momentum that he had. Yeah. I mean, hopefully we can see like a, a, a solid ending instead of an SD here. Yeah. You know, I say the momentum that that uh, Havri had, but it seems like a lot of the times um, Jet, while he seems to be like down a stock like pretty early on in both games, he seems to pick up on himself pretty uh, Ooh, quickly. Okay. Yeah, good job saving that jump. I was just gonna say, if he has a jump, he'll be all right. That's pretty much the tagline of this game. If you have a jump, you'll be all right. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay, smart, smart recovery there. Oh, nice Ooh, counter too. That was really slick. Yeah. Good option select right there. Yeah. Oh, okay, dead. Hey, and a solid forward tilt. No kill screen, just uh, just results, I guess. Yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> uh, F tilt's definitely one of those moves where, like, it has the kill power, but I guess the game wasn't ready for it. Yeah.